on guys Paul's adaptable survival and what we're gonna take a quick look at today is the Eberly stock jackhammer so stay tuned so let's do a quick spec rundown of the Eberly stock jackhammer it's gonna be made out of a 1000 denier Cordura it's gonna be 2700 cubic inches that's gonna break down to 21 inches height wise 18 inches across and 8 inches deep it's gonna use Eberly stocks Intex 2 frame um, as you can see on the bottom here that goes uh, inside up behind here um, the, the older model did use an Alice frame um, and then they built it around that you can uh, last time I checked you can get the older model still on their sites heavily discounted um, if they still have any available I believe you can only get it in multicam though um, this is gonna be the dry earth they also have it in coyote brown and military green. As you can see, got Molly up top here. Molly in the front has Molly on the bottom here as well. Um, got your buckles on the outside here. Those flaps open up. This bottom flap, you can either run it how I have it, uh, with the frame under it, or you can run it over the frame. But this top lid here, the zipper's open. You can use one of their scabbards behind here to store a weapon since Elberly Stocks packs are more geared toward the military um, or hunting packs. Um, you can store a rifle, shotgun, uh, whatever kind of weapon system you have um, in the back there. Zip that back up quick. But uh, you know, on the sides here, on both sides, you have hydration slots. Um, and as well as little carabiners to connect them, drop them down in there. On this other side, I just have a Schrader Mercedes I've been messing around with today. But on the outside of that pocket as well, uh, we have some compression straps on both sides, and then the pocket attached right to that um, hydration slot. You can get to the, the inside side uh, there. Um, then that's and also another spot you can store some water. And as you can see. That's quite a deep pocket you got there uh, to store whatever kind of items, you know, whether it's a hydration bladder or something else. You've got a little pocket on the bottom for a water bottle, like I have on this side. So um, definitely, you know, can carry quite a bit, few stuff in there. Um, got another compression strap along with another one of those pockets. Then the, this front part, you can open up to the inside to any area here or you can access it through the top as well so a lot of a lot of availability for gear there before I hop into the main compartment just on the bottom here you have another spot where uh, the scabbard would come out um, so it come right out from the bottom of that that flap on the bottom here top it to the main compartment this does open all the way up got pals molly webbing all on the inside there just got some of my stuff here just to show you how much uh, you can pack in here um, so i'm gonna start up on this pouch up top here uh, since these these products the Everest stock products are made for uh, the military um, they have a lot of features that are more geared towards the military um, like this big pocket up top here um, as you can see i got a lot of different stuff that uh, i use out in the woods when I'm filming videos just relaxing or whatever um, but you got a nice big pocket pocket up top here um, usually i think they what they still are storing there is uh, like a radio or something in the military um, then you have a pocket in front of that so with some flatter stuff um, so a nice big pocket up top there get up some of this other crap that i have inside here um, there is a compression strap that you can use to compress whatever you have in that pocket so you can cinch it down nice and tight if you need to or if you're not using it at all so let me just cinch that down so i can show you the rest of it now that i got this a little bit closer up here uh, so you can see it inside a little bit better i uh, just got a tarp in there um, but on the inside here uh, you have two mesh pockets on the side here nice big zipper pulls on there so you can get inside there it's got a slingshot in this one just messing around out in the woods Testing some stuff out for another video on um, this other one. You know, they expand out pretty 
pretty far as well, so you can store a lot of stuff in there. Just got a hat in there in case it gets cold out here. Uh, then on the bottom here, you actually have four uh, pockets you can store various item in, items in. I uh, just got a spoon that I've been working on um, when I'm out in the woods. Um, let me just flip down to the bottom here. Make this flap. So if you also do get a rain cover, if I can get it out of the pocket. So that's that's attached in there um, with a little carabiner to hold it in place. So take that out, fold it over, fold it over the top if you need it. So on the back side here, I've um, got a lot of nice padding, um, really raised up so it keeps a lot of ventilation going on. Um, what's nice with these shoulder straps is they're not completely sealed. So there's mesh on the inside there, so it's going to keep it breathable. You can adjust this, the shoulder straps up and down to better suit your body. I've um, got a nice big lumbar pad on the bottom here. I've uh, got a nice waist strap as well. I've um, got molly on there, so if you want to connect pouches, uh, holster, anything like that. Um, definitely rides really comfortably. I really like it. Um, it's got some straps up top here so you can let the load loose a little bit if you need to. Got some D-rings if you need to attach anything. And then got yourself a, a sternum strap across the front there as well. Uh, got a nice big grab handle up top here. That lift it right up. Uh, you know, just all in all, great pack. Uh, let me throw this on for you. Let's show you what it looks like uh, when it's on the I got the pack all loaded back up on, on my back now. Just give you a 360 view of what it looks like when it's on. You know, anytime that I'm coming out into the woods, um, especially if it's just for like a day like I am doing today, just shoot some videos, um, just relax and get out, get out of the, the noise of the city. Um, I always like packing in more than I would normally carry. Um, right now I have about 32, 34 pounds to 34 pounds uh, worth of gear in here, depending on how much water is uh, left in my water bottle. Um, so I, I like doing that just so I can uh, train up the legs because uh, your body is your greatest tool that you can have. Um, so you only get one of those, so you making sure that you refine it and strengthen it as much as possible is, is critical to anything. Um, but back onto the pack, you know, it rides really well. Um, I took it all up and down a bunch of hills, um, all over the place with this thing, and it rides really nice. Since you can adjust it to better fit you, um, you know, you can basically make it a custom fit to yourself however you adjust it, which is really nice. You know, price point wise, this is not a cheap pack. The newer models are running for $329. Uh, the older models, I'm not sure if Everly Stock has any of those left, uh, but last time I checked, they're going for about $230 in the multicam color. Um, like I said, I have this in the dry earth. It comes in coyote and military green as well. So it gives you a few different options there. Um, you know, I hope this video showed you the capabilities of this pack, um, some of the features. You know, if you have any questions on it, you know, feel free to say some comments down in the comments below um, if there's anything you like about this pack any any other things any suggestions on other packs that Billy Stock carries that I should be checking out um, definitely let me know I know I am, do have one other Ebley Stock pack on the way right now that I ordered this past week um, so I should be getting that in the next few days here you know like I said man I hope this video helped you guys out I uh, hope you enjoyed it you know, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, guys, develop your mind, your body, and your gear. I'll see you later.